Hey guys, Desolator Magic here, and you might have seen a Momir's Madness tournament on Arena. Figured I'd uh, show an example of what that is, because while well, they announced it ahead of time, I did talk about it on my channel, but it looked pretty fun, so I decided to just take the 500 coins and try it out, which is stupid, because your chances of winning aren't very good, and the top prize is 600 coins. But it is an absolute riot. So this, uh, Momir Basic is what it's called, uh, was a format invented exclusively for Magic Online, because it would be virtually impossible to play uh, in real life. So this was kind of like plane chase where it was just magic plus you just sort of add something to it And that something was a vanguard, which is kind of like your commander except it acts more like an emblem So it's called Molmir because both players start with uh, Avatar, Molmir, Vig, Simic Visionary in play So your starting life total is increased by four Although in this tournament you start with 21 for some reason not really sure what's going on there And you would permanently have access to this card So you can pay X Discard a card, create a token that's a copy of a creature card with convert a mana cost X chosen at random. They don't mean in play in the battlefield, by the way. Activate this ability only any time you can cast a sorcery and only once each turn. Also, your entire library is lands. It is just, I think, 12 of each land times 5? Basic lands, by the way. So... How does this ability work, you're probably thinking? Well, it's every creature card ever printed in the entire history of the game. You create a token copy of it completely chosen at random. So if you say X equals four, it's every converted mana cost four creature ever printed in the history of the game, you generate one at random. Now on Arena, that would be impossible. They'd have to program in every card, every mechanic, all that. So they just stuck to cards that are in Arena. So it's standard plus. I think the cards uh, like from the tutorial are in there. I saw at least one. So, not a lot of skill involved, it's mostly just luck on what you get generated, and you'll see why when I show the gameplay example. It is hilarious. But simultaneously, you need a lot of skill, because you need to know how every card works. I mean, you could read the card, but you need to know how, like, every mechanic works, when to use stuff, when it would be appropriate to do this, how it works, how it goes on the stack, how it interacts, you know, all that stuff. So, it, it is an absolute riot. I mean, you almost have to be drunk to play this. So I thought, let's spend the 500 coins and jump right in. So you can see he goes first, drops a planes. Um, I cut out him slow playing like you wouldn't believe. I drop a uh, mountain, and I decide not to use the ability. Now, it's on the left, by the way. You can click the, I'll just say emblem, because it's pretty much what it is. So I decide, okay, two is enough. Let's go. So I pay two, discard a card. I've got the most islands, and I generate a uh, Seeker's Squire, which uh, explores, which put another land in my hand, which is actually huge. I mean, it'll be hard to run out. You get one every turn, but an extra one is kind of nice. So then he drops a third one, goes for... Uh, the three costs, and he gets a three cost Gargoyle Sentinel. Not great, but not bad. All right, we go to my turn. I drop three, and let's keep the pedal of the metal here. So I pay three, and I discard a Swamp. I don't really remember what happens. I get a Flactory Lich. Let's pause right there for a second and read that, shall we? It's a 5-5 five, five Indestructible Lich for three, so hey, nice. Except when it enters the battlefield, put a Flactory Counter on an artifact you control. When you control no permanents with Flactory Counters on them, sacrifice Flactory Lich. And he's gone. All right, so we go to his turn. It really sucks that he went first. It's a huge advantage. So he drops in a four cost and gets a Sky Rider Patrol. Not very good. I start a combat, pay two, put a counter on something. Pretty weak. All right, now it's my turn to drop in something that costs four, so I'm going to go for four. Once again, you have to discard a land, so, I mean, you know, it kind of sucks, but it's not like I'm low on a man. We get a Skizik, which uh, gets sacrificed at the end of turn if you didn't kick it. I did not kick it, and it has haste and trample, so let's go. <laughs> I don't even remember what he does. I think he just takes it. I don't know. Yep, he did. He's just like, whatever, thing's dead anyway, not worth losing a creature over, and he was correct. All right, so we go to his turn, he drops a uh, fifth land, goes for the five dump, and I legitimately don't know what that is. Somehow I didn't hover over it. I have no idea what I was thinking. I seriously can't identify that artwork. I could if I gave a crap, but I don't. So let's go to my turn, let's drop a fiver in, um, whatever it is, it's some 3-2 flyer, I'm sure it's not that great. And then, uh, let's see, what are we getting rid of? We get rid of a island, because I already have two of those in play, and we get a uh, Underrealm Lich. Much improved Lich over the last one. So if I would draw a card instead, I look at the top three, all of which would be a land, put two in my graveyard, one in my uh, hand, who cares? And then I could pay four life, tap him, and he gains indestructible. And he's only a four, three for five. I think I kind of got ripped off. 
So we'll go to his turn. He drops in a land, and uh, let's see, he's going for six. So what does he get? Oh, this is where it gets entertaining. Demon Lord Belzenlock. Wow, three flyers. I'm in trouble. Oh, wait, let's read that. Six, six, flying trample, wonderful, but when it enters the battlefield, exile cards from the top of your library until you exile a non-land card. Uh-oh. Then put that card into your hand if the card's converted mana, who cares? So he uh, decks himself. All right, so, I mean, we got combat. He swings at me for uh, five in the air. Oh, boy, I take it. You know, what else can you do? Uh, Lich effect, drop one in. I generated six cost because I thought it was funny. I zone it for zero, and then I pass to his turn, and he loses because he's out of cards. So that was hilarious because he had three flyers. I mean, I would have been dead if it wasn't for that stupid uh, effect. So that was random and weird and completely out of my control. So not usually the way I want to play Magic, but it was funny and hilarious. So if you're into this kind of thing, go check it out. Uh, you have until halfway through tomorrow, actually. So uh, Monday at noon or 1 or something like that, they're going to uh, get rid of it. So uh, check it out real quick if you want to. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next crazy tournament.